What's up guys, Kirk here with the Daily XP for Thursday, October 24th. My goal is to get you caught up on all the day's MO news so you don't have to visit the other guys. Today on the show we have DayZ early access coming to Steam, Star Wars wiping character names, and the closed beta for Naruto Saga. I'm beginning to think that maybe I'm revealing too much information in the opening credits. I mean, I already told you that DayZ is coming to early access on Steam, so what else could I possibly say here? Well, if you like juicy details, I guess I could at least provide that for you. Bohemia Interactive, the creators of the DayZ mod, are surprised at how quickly the internet discovers information, as only yesterday a page on the Steam database revealed some very minor information about the DayZ standalone and it would have taken some very deep digging to find. Nevertheless, it's been found, and though we don't know any exact details or a release date, which is the most important thing, we do know that we can play the game on Steam via early access when it's released, and it will be available for single purchase price. Thank you, internet sleuths. Thank you. For those of you who were disappointed that you couldn't get Jabba the Hutt, and had to settle for Jabba the Schmutt for your character name in Star Wars The Old Republic, then perhaps your day to re-roll has arrived. Bioware announced that they will be retiring old character names from the free-to-play and preferred status in the game. Now this will not affect current players that are subscribed to the premium service, of course, but this will definitely drop the, I'm sure, thousands of players who jumped in during some free trial weekend and never went back. The removal of the names will begin after Bioware has identified the inactive accounts. Today, Ice Games announced the beginning of the closed beta period for the next installment of the Naruto game franchise, Naruto Saga. Naruto Saga will step away from the traditional approach of the franchise and switch to a turn-based combat style using a variety of different characters and mechanics. I'm not going to pretend like I know anything about Naruto or the Naruto Saga, so I will let you, fans of the series, tell me why I should check the game out via the comments below. Lastly, a brand new trailer for the upcoming free-to-play sandbox MRPG Albion Line from Sandbox Interactive was released today. The game is set in a medieval cross-platform world. Albion Line will allow players to conquer, colonize, and defend territories in a true cross-platform experience. Albion Line will go into beta in early 2014, so you can get the latest updates by following the game on Facebook, Twitter, Google+, and YouTube, and MMO Attack. And that's all I've got for you today. That's everything that's happening in the world of MMOs. I have been Kirk. You can find me on Twitter or this awesome new video app called Cameo. Atacon40 is my handle on both. Our keyword for today is DayZ, one word, D-A-Y-Z. Like, subscribe, comment, and follow us everywhere. Goodbye. For those of you who had to settle for D2R2, for Puke Air Runner, for Darth Binks, for Booba Fett, for Obi 2 Kenobi 2, Naruto. The rem fucking fuck. Perhaps it has. In a true crap class. This is a struggle today. I'm sorry, Mark. I should have had you do it. Yeah, you're gonna want to keep your money. No one's buying the site. We're talking about MMO Attack with one T. Oh. Okay. Damn it. In my mind, I was already dating Miley Cyrus, you know, the girl with the tongue. So what are we gonna do about this website? I don't know that we really...